What's going on? My name is Justin and you're checking out another tutorial from Modern Mixing. Today's quick tip is going to be about timing issues and how to fix them. And in this case, it's going to be a little bit different than you're normally used to fixing vocals. So a lot of times what happens is you're going to see all these different phrases and there's a few phrases in each line. But for instance, this one phrase here, let's just say this is out of time. And I wanted to fix that. So oftentimes what you can do is you can kind of just slide the whole phrase around. And oftentimes that's good enough to get it to fit in the pocket. But what happens when you have a phrase where this part of the phrase is in time, but this part of the phrase may be not in time? Well, there's a few things you can do. And one of the common ways to do that is to use a time stretching tool. But the problem with time stretching tools, unless you're doing small, small, minute changes, it's going to alter the sound and affect it in a certain way. And if you have stacks like I have here and you have to alter all of those stacks, then usually it doesn't sound too good. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to chop uh, the vocal up like this. And so, for instance, let's just say we chop a section over here. Let me just zoom in. So what I would do is I would chop this section over here and then spread them apart and then we're going to sort of glue them back together in a sense. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to play this for you and I want to see if you can notice the timing issues that we're here, we hear in this one. Now there's, there's three stacks of this vocal course but I'm just going to mute the other two and I'm going to play just the lead. I bumped up the volume a little bit too so it's a little bit more audible and um, I'll let you listen to it and then see if you can notice the timing issues and, and what we have to fix. So let's do that now. Okay, so these timing issues are not extreme cases, but they are slightly off. And in this case, it's these two parts over here. Um, this part, actually the second part, which is highlighted right now, this is much more noticeable than the first part, but they're still off. So these first two, the first part over here, which is this part over here, where she says no, uh, and this part over here, where she says no, and she kind of drags on the note. Um, but these sound fine to me. It's just these last parts, and you can see if I, you know, line them up with the grid, it's slightly in front of the grid, and this one is even more so. So I want to get that behind, but she starts no over here, and she starts it sort of on the grid with a little bit of a breath before, and to me, the timing sounded fine, so I don't want to ruin this. All I want to do is I want to slide this over just a little bit. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go in and see if I can find a break point that will be easy for me to sort of line up. So let's say I cut it here, and I'll break that. Well, actually, let me explain why. So if I cut it here, the reason why I would want to cut it in this spot is because there's space here and then there's space here and then they both line up so if i was to stretch them afterwards i know that i have some space to play with so let me show you exactly what i mean so let me break that here and then let me slide it over and i don't know if that's going to sound good or not but i'm just assuming you know what let's play it let's see Okay, so the time actually sounds pretty good. The only thing is we got this little space in here, so we're getting this clipping noise. So the reason why I chopped it there is because, again, I want to start sliding some of this over, and I know I have some room to play with because, you know, where the, I cut that, it was basically the same height, same size. And then I can move this over a little bit, and then what I can do is I can just sort of keep bringing them closer and closer together until they somewhat line up. And then if I pull back... Now you can see that they're both the exact same size. That's great, but now what we want to do is we want to avoid as much of that clipping as we possibly can. So if I play it now, unless I miraculously figured out a way to get that to line up perfectly, but I don't think so. Let's listen to it. You should still be able to hear a clip noise. I'm taking me back. You get no more. Yeah, so I heard that. I'm sure you could probably hear that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and there's no way to fix this 100% and get it perfect, but there is a way to reduce it significantly. So let's zoom in here. 
And what we actually want to do is, I'm going to slide this over a little bit. What we want to do is, if you see this waveform over here, uh, sorry, I'm scrolling through here. See how it arcs down like that? And this one arcs down over here. Now, although this is not the exact same as this, what we want to do is we want to try and finish that cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, close that off so it finishes the cycle right there. Let me zoom in just a little bit more to get a little bit more accurate. And then with this one over here, I'm going to finish it right there. So now when we join them together, they should complete a full sine wave uh, on their own there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So like I said, it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to hear a little bit of a clip, and we can actually go in and fade things just a little bit. But again, it's not going to be perfect. But just a little fade there just to try and reduce that clip as much as we possibly can. Now let's go back and play that again. Let's see what it sounds like. Me back, you get no more. And there, you shouldn't notice the clip now. But if I play it in solo, you will hear the clip. So let's play that. And it's just a vocal and solo now. You get no more. See, you can hear it, but it's very, very minute. So the only person that's going to hear that is someone that's like so focused and so detailed on that. But because you're listening to the performance, you're not listening for imperfections. So again, we're trying to pick the lesser of two evils. So to me, the worst one is to have a vocal that's out of time. And in this case, it's more in time, but there's a tiny, tiny slight blip that to the naked ear, you shouldn't be able to hear. So... Now let's play that, and I'll play this part again because this one's out of time, and you'll you'll definitely hear the out of time difference now between the first one and the second one. So let's play that. I'm taking me back. You get no more, no more, no. So the second one, it's still it's still too fast. So let's go in here and let's do the same thing that we did with that. Again, let's try to get an area that leaves us a little bit of space on, you know, say the beginning of this one and then the end of this one. So to me, that looks like around there somewhere. I'll break that, slide that over. This one's a lot bigger. So that looks like it's in a good spot. So let's just listen to it, even though it's broken up. We'll see just to make sure the timing is okay. Back, you get no more, no more. Okay. That sounds a little bit better to me. So let's zoom in here again. Let's make sure we line up everything properly. And that looks pretty good. So now we can zoom in. Okay, so this one here looks pretty similar to that. So let's use this over here. Slide this over. And then we can slide that. Slide this over a bit more. Okay, that looks okay. Let's slide them together. And there, now they complete a sine wave. So let's fade this just a little bit. And same thing over here, just to try and reduce that clip as much as we can. And now, let's listen to it in solo and see if we can hear that clip. Should be able to notice a little something, but let's check it out. No more, no more. Yeah, well, it's very, very slight. It's almost undetectable to the naked ear. So now let's put this in with the track and see what we get. Taking me back, you get... And that's it. And that's just as easy as that. Again, this is tedious. It is time consuming. It is a pain in the butt. But 
it is a way to get things to to remain as natural as you can possibly get them to be without actually altering the tone of the of the vocal because a lot of times that that time stretching tool it can kind of alter things a little bit and it just doesn't sound the same so again if you ever find yourself in that situation where you have some vocal timing issues just try to you know do what i showed you and just make sure that when you line up these two parts here that you're fully completing the sine wave so that it looks so that this sine wave over here uh, right here it looks exactly like this one does over here so it completes the full cycle and that's it and you should reduce significantly the amount of clip that you get between the two parts being put back together all right so hope you enjoyed that see you next tutorial i'm taking a vacation in may i'm done